Now the topic is uh, read only memory and RAM interfacing with the H051. How to connect uh, read only memory and uh, random access memory to the H051. So, whenever internal memory is not sufficient, uh, we have to connect uh, read only memory and uh, random access memory. Right? Suppose we want to access only external ROM. So, 8051 consists of EA pin, external access. EA pin must be connected to ground. So, then microcontroller access only external ROM. So, how much memory we can connect? 64 KB. What is the starting address? 4 zeros to 4 Fs. Suppose you want to access uh, both internal ROM and external ROM. Right? So, in such cases, So in such cases, so EA pin is connected to VCC 5 volts, right? So A051 consists of internally already 4 KB memory. So you can connect uh, additional extra memory, right? So it can access uh, both internal ROM and external ROM. So what is the internal ROM address? 0000 to what is internal memory 0000 to 0 triple f so external ROM address is 1000 h to f f f f h right now before connecting uh, external memory so what are the signals are available for a051 right now let us see so a051 consists of uh, see here p3.6 it is a right bar signal so it is connected it is a right bar signal so p3.7 it is a read bar signal and pac and bar signal it is a, a read signal for the uh, read only or memory wrong p2.0 p2.1 p2.2 up to p2.7 so these eight bits eight pins These uh, 8 pins act as address pins. So P0.0 to P0.7, so they act as uh, address pins and data pins. So we have to separate uh, address pins and data pins, address pins signals and data signals with the help of Yale signal and latches. And latches. So when these pins carry address signals so AL is one and latches are enabled all address bits are transferred to the outside when p0 point p0 when these signals have the data bits at that time AL is zero so when AL is zero all latches are disabled so the data bits are not at all transferred to the outside so the largest output always carry here address bits only so you can take out like this data bits so these are the data bits so these are the data bits and uh, these are the address bits in this way address bits and data bits are separated so what are the signals we have 8051 side so D0 to D7 data signals and A0 to A15 address signals total 16 signals PACN bar and write bar signal and read bar signal so connecting the memory is with the 8051 means you have to connect uh, all the address pins and uh, address signals and data signals read signal and write signal and PACN bar signals now let us see how to connect so before connecting so what are the memory signals so if you take a 8k byte read only memory so what are the signals 
so we have to express the memory capacity in terms of 2 powers so yeah, it means 2 power 3 and uh, k means 2 power so k means 2 power 10 so total 2 power 13 bytes of memory so how many address lines 13 address lines address lines are a0 to a2 all so here a0 to a2 all if you take a uh, 16 k ram so what are other signals see here data signals d0 to d7 signals and this is a c bar c bar means chip enable and v bar means output enable output enable right to read the data from the uh, ROM you have to apply logic 0 to the v bar right see here so external RAM so 16 KB so 16 KB means 16 means 2 power 4 K means 10 so 2 power 14 so A0 to A13 lines address lines are required so this is about uh, so how to connect it what are the connections so what are the connections see here so WE so right bar enable pin of the RAM is connected to right bar signal of the 051 so output enable OE bar pin is connected to the PCN bar signal of 051 if it is a ROM is used for program see here other OE bar it is connected to read pin of the 051 the ROM is for data this is the difference so data ROM and program ROM program ROM output pin enable is connected to PACN bar and output pin enable is connected to read pin of the 8051 the ROM is used for data so data pins D0 to D7 are connected to data pins of the 8051 right so when coming to the 8k 8k ROM so how many signals a0 to a12 so you have to connect a0 to a12 pins as it is to the a0 to a12 pin signals of the a051 so what about the remaining address lines what whatever the remaining address lines so these address lines are used for connecting the CN pin of the ROM okay so one way is through the 98 so we can connect the signals what are the additional signals remaining signals a13 to a14 and a15 okay here only a0 to a12 pins are connected so remaining uh, address lines are a13 a14 and a15 they are connected to the ROM through the 98 so chip C bar pin always zero must be zero when we are working with uh, ROM it must be zero so it must be zero what should be the input of A13 and A14 and A15 they must be one because it is a 98 if and only if all are ones then only 98 output is zero so for all addresses A13, A14, A15 must be one so second way you can connect uh, remaining address lines through the 74 ls 138 decoder 74 ls 138 decoder it is a 3y8 decoder abc has the three inputs and uh, eight outputs y0 y1 y2 up to y7 right so you can select any output if you apply uh, 0 0 so 0 double 1 if you apply 0 double 1 third output is active right so we have another uh, now let us see in the next slide ok so I have taken second output y1 output is connected to c bar pin of the signal so y1 is active to make the y1 is active you have to apply 001 to the 
CBA pins in this way. CBA pin in this way, right? So A13, A14, A15 must be 100, right? So if you apply CBA in this way, 001, Y1 is active. So A13, A14, A15 must be 100 for all addresses. 1 double zero right to access memory so then only this output is zero if and only if this output is zero then only the chip is active to make the chip is active output must be zero to make the output must be zero you must apply zero zero one here so that is a13 a14 a15 must be one double zero right now coming to the external RAM interface. See here. So this is the RAM 16 KB. So how many address lines? CA02, A13. Right. Output enable is connected to the read pin of Z051. And write enable pin is connected to the write bar pin of the Z051. Right, so data signals of the uh, memory is connected to the D0 to D7 pins of the A051. Right, so what are the remaining signals A14 and A15? So we can choose the 9 gate. Right, so output must be 0 to make the memory chip active. So when is output is 0, if and only if A14 and A15 must be 1. Right. For all addresses, A14 and A15 must be 1, right? So in this way, you have to connect the external RAM, right? So now we see the figure. We see that figure. So this is in one complete, right? So this is the RAM we have connected. So D0 to D7 is a common bus for two memories. Okay, so one memory is program ROMs 8K by 8. Other memory is 8K by 8, right? So what are the address signals? A0 to A12. They are connected to as it is of the A051 signals. See here. So what is the remaining thing? A13 to A15. That is connected through the CE bar, through the 98. Well, let us see. Right? So here also, so this is the data ROM. So address signals are connected same way here. Program ROM and uh, data ROM. Only difference is output enable is connected to read bar pin. Here output enable is connected to PACM bar signal of the A0. 5 1. So, ROM uh, connections are both are same, only uh, this one, this two are different. Now, coming to the 16 by 16k by 8, right? So, A0 to A13 as it is here connected. So, remaining signals are connected to the 98, right? So, output enable pin is connected to right bar signal, and right bar signal it must be connected output to right enable pin it must be connected to the right uh, right bar signal of the A051 by mistake it is missed okay it must be connected to the right bar pin of the A051 so this is what connection you have to draw in this way they are connected right so only idea is you have to compute number of address lines and total address lines are connected to the address lines of the A051 if you have any you have any remaining address lines they are connected through the 98 that must be applied to the chip enable signal right so remain data pins of the uh, memories are connected to data lines of the A051 output enable is must be connected to the red pin so right bar enable must be connected to the right pin 
So output enable of the program RAM which must be connected to the VACN bar and output enable it must be connected to the RIV bar signal. Right? So this is all about memory interfacing of uh, uh, interfacing with uh, 051.